cycling in Barranco about uh, 10 to 5 in the afternoon here in Barranco we are about we are about to get to the main square well I guess my friend is waiting for me as usual in the last few weeks we already got the custom to meet each other in order to get some cans of wine and yep watch the people coming and going which is also a good hobby we have just discovered that meeting and taking some wines is not a bad idea so we are enjoying the moment uh, tap it, tapping into this uh, custom Okay, today the, the sun is shining Everything looks quiet and peaceful And uh, I hope you will enjoy this environment too This avenue is always overcrowded with cars that go to the southern part of the city. As you can see, buses, cars, and all kind of public transport. Ah, okay. My friend is over there. I'm gonna cross the, the street. Ooh. Hey! ¿Cuántos estás esperando? I was cycling on Pelin when I was coming to to this place, and suddenly, well, not suddenly. Honestly, I was like cycling. Uh, in this part of the, uh, the street where people, well, the pedestrians walk and, uh, and I was doing that just because I uh, wanted to avoid the cars because cars in Peru are very dangerous and it's very complicated when you are like cycling or pedaling because there is always a risk to be like, to have an accident and uh, I I don't remember the name in English, but when you when you collide with someone else, and it was not my fault. Well, it was my fault in many ways, but I think that the the man who I almost um, make him uh, fall uh, was like angry with me, and that was a problem. But it's okay, it was my fault. I understand that part. Panoramic view of Lima, Peru. Okay. We are leaving this part of Barranco neighborhood. I'm gonna throw this. Uh, we are heading to my home in Chorrillos, Lima, Peru. I'm gonna show you some of the sidewalk up here. In, Tor in Barranco, Barranco, we are hidden in, we are hidden to Chorrillos. Mm -hmm. 
and I hope you enjoy this route. There are some people around, around. These guys are waiting their kids. It's a kind of uh, school over there. I have just spent some time with my friend talking about life and uh, talking about our friends and taking some wines in cans
I'm following the ancient tram lines that led to Chorrillos in the past and now are like witnesses of an ancient glory those times in which Lima was a very beautiful city today Lima is a little bit chao chaotic chaotic I don't remember the name exactly in English I mean I don't know how to pronounce it properly but many of you will understand what I mean Nevertheless, Lima is still a great city and there are some hidden gems scattered around the city dangerous perhaps this part of my cycling is a little bit dangerous because I have to be aware of the cars that come behind me so Lima is not always the safest place to cycling but it's okay, it's okay.
are the hidden streets of Chorrillos. As you can see, as you can notice, the environment suddenly changed. The houses, I mean the architecture, the design of the houses have changed. It's totally different. Totally different, totally different compared to what you saw. Okay, we are close to my home, but firstly I have to pedaling a little, pedal a little more. Okay. There is a couple of high rotation hotels here. finishing this part of the video uh, we are, I'm close to my home it's been more or less a little bit more than 55 minutes pedaling cycling and I want you to notice the difference the different part of Lima different architecture, different, I don't know, different feeling, I mean, it's a different way people live in here.
Okay, I'm gonna finish this video. I hope you enjoy this uh, content. If you really like it, please thumbs up. Give me, give me a like. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.